Well, for more on the travel ban, let's bring in Washington Post political reporter James Homan. James, good to see you. So let me ask you straight off, what do you make of the news out of Washington today? Yeah, Vlad, good to be with you. This is definitely a much better rollout than the first time around, which was, I think, even you know anyone but Donald Trump would acknowledge was botched. Uh, the, the lawyers do feel much better that it can withstand legal scrutiny because of the changes we just heard about from Paula. And so people sort of see this as a win. Remember, Donald Trump had planned to sign this executive order last Wednesday after his big joint speech to Congress. But at the last minute, the White House canceled that because they they didn't want this executive order to step on the positive coverage and, and buzz about his speech to Congress. So they postponed it until this week. A lot of critics saying, you know, gee, you said this was was so urgent, was so important to national security last time you did it. Uh, that you couldn't even, you know, get the, the rollout right. And this time you waited six days so that you would be able to, to kind of have a news cycle that would just be devoted to the, to the travel ban. Either way, you know, that's, that's very processy. The White House feeling very good uh, about how it's gone today. And James, uh, let me ask a question uh, with regards to the way it was signed. Uh, in the past couple of weeks, all of the orders or most of the orders that President Trump has signed, news cameras have been in there. He's held up the order for the cameras. This time, reporters were not invited in. What do you make of that? I think it's a huge, huge deal. I think when Donald Trump signs something off camera, it's a much bigger deal than when he signs it on camera because it says a lot about his priorities and what the White House wants. There have been, th this is sort of the fourth Thing that the White House has, has had Trump sign behind closed doors where they don't want him to own it. They want this to be something that the Homeland Security Department and Justice Department are doing, not Donald Trump, because that makes it more polarizing. It makes it more controversial. It's likely to lead to more protests. Similarly, last week, with no fanfare behind closed doors, Trump signed something that undid an Obama executive order, which made it harder for people who are mentally ill to get guns. Trump didn't want cameras coming into the Oval Office to see that. So I think, you know, he's, he's someone who likes to, to be on camera. He likes to have the visuals of him looking like a man of action. So I think it's, it's very, very telling that his team decided to keep him away from today's executive order. It's an interesting point, including some of those uh, executive orders uh, and regulations that he signed rolling back uh, some of the progress that was made in the Obama administration. 